video is of uh, USS O'Hare, DDR-889, and she's uh, unwrapping uh, with uh, USS Forrestal. And uh, USS Forrestal was a, uh, a supercarrier uh, commissioned in uh, 1955, and uh, the uh, O'Hare was a gearing class destroyer, and uh, she was commissioned in 1945. And uh, I think there, this is 1957, and I think they're either off the North Carolina coast uh, conducting uh, uh, an exercise or, the, or it's Operation Strike Back, which was in September and October of 1957 and held in the North Sea. And, you know, this, this uh, looks like North Sea, North sea weather, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm not too sure of the exact, exact date. But just some some great footage of uh, them unwrapping and uh, you know the uh, the O'Hare taking on fuel from uh, the carrier and uh, you know you can just see she's she's burying her bow there and taking on some uh, some some nice nice waves and uh, you can see the the crew on O'Hare they're uh, they're getting pretty, pretty drenched. Now, I don't know if you caught at the beginning of this, you could see uh, either dolphin or porpoise there up at the bow jumping. And uh, yeah, that uh, from my time at sea, that seemed to be, you know, uh, a uh, pretty, pretty popular thing for them to do. I don't know what, what, uh, what about that they liked maybe the the waves or the way the ships cutting the water but they like to get up there in the bow and, and jump and uh yeah you know uh i'm really torn between the location of this you know this could be be around hatteras off of north carolina uh but uh both both vessels just from what i've researched uh, participated in operation strike back in uh, the north sea the north atlantic so that this uh this could very well well be that. The additional footage I have on this from uh, the Forrestal doesn't indicate, you know, either one. And as the film progresses here, you get a really nice shot of uh, USS O'Hare, and she was a fine-looking destroyer at the time, and she was in commission from 1945. 1973 with the U.S. Navy, and then she was transferred to the Spanish Navy in uh, 1973, and she served with them until uh, 1992 when she was scrapped. And with uh, the Spanish Navy, she was the Mendez Nunez, uh, hull number D63. And uh, yeah, as, as this film progresses, you see something I never saw when I was conducting uh, underway replenishment at sea, and uh, that's a band plan on the, the vessel that uh, <laughs> you're refueling. And uh, uh, it's, that's, uh, that's, that's the first time I've ever seen that. And you can see the band playing on the O'Hare. It looks like on the, uh, the O-1 deck. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a first for me. And then the, it, there's some footage of her. Looks like it's shot from one of the uh, aircraft bays on Forrestal. And as you can see here, when the uh, the band's playing on the uh, O'Hare, it's definitely not the same same day as uh, you know the previous footage, where they're taking some you know some heavy waves over the bow there and and uh, washing out the main deck. There, uh, this was <laughs> this is looks like a nice uh, sunny day, and uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. I hope you enjoyed this piece of history and uh, like and subscribe if you'd uh, like to see more military and patriotic videos, which I uh, I'd upload uh, every other day on my site. And uh, if you're interested in a, a good read, check out my books 
at uh, www.edsemler.com.